The Heaving Line Knot. Hello everybody, welcome back to another one of Johnny's little knots that he's learnt. And today we're going to have a look at the Heaving Line Knot. It is very simple, very easy to tie. And basically what it is, is that if you want to put a bit of, a, bit of weight on the end of a rope so that you can throw it and if you put end if you put weight on the end of a rope you can actually throw that rope further because of the weight that's on it now i've looked for the quickest and simplest ones to do obviously we're we're all used to the monkey's fist a very decorative knot but also makes a wonderful heaving line but if you don't have a monkey's fist available or you don't know how to tie a monkey's fist then this is a go-to knot for you to learn to tie to put a bit of weight on the end of the rope and I've just done it in a number of different cords here I've tied it in a couple of different ways to see which one's best and I'll tell you which one's best later on that I have found um, but if I actually refer to the books Ashley book of knots of course there are oh a multitude of different ones but if I go to a book that I've got um, let's have a look let's show you the book this book here, Knots by Gordon Perry. Sadly, Gordon's no longer with us anymore. Was a really nice guy. Um, and basically, in his knot, the heaving line knot itself, it's also referenced as also known as the Franciscan knot and the monk's knot. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a couple of methods of tying the heaving line knot, Franciscan knot, monk's knot. And I'm sure... I'm sure there's others out there that know it by different names as well. So if you know it by a different name, in the comments below and tell me about it. So anyway, let's stop cackling and let's get knotting. Right, so I've undone one of my cords and the easiest way... So Okay, the e this is the easiest way of tying it. Basically, let's see, this end here, this is my standing end and this is my working end. And all I'm basically going to do is... I'm going to take my working end and pass it over my standing end like so. And then this is so simple. Then I'm just going to basically take it across like so and then pass it underneath and just keep coiling it round. And that's all you do. Underneath, keep coiling it round like so, but keep it tight as you're going around because you don't want it to come undone. And basically take your working end and coil it around your standing end in that loop that we've created there in our standing end and just keep coiling it round until you run out of cordage and now you can see here at this point I've run out of cordage and so the next thing I'm going to do is there's my loop I'm going to take my end and pass it through the loop like so and then just lock it in with my fingers and then with my standing end here I'm going to pull up on my cordage until I pull up tight and there you go, just pull it up nice and tight and we now have a heaving line knot in our cordage. Okay, and I can pull it up a little bit tighter just to tighten it all up and there we go, we've now added a little bit of extra rope, a bit of extra rope, we haven't added any rope at all unless I'm magic, we've added a bit of weight now, a bit of extra weight to the very end of our rope so that when it comes to throwing it, that weight will allow it, or the momentum of that weight, will allow it to be thrown further should you require it. Okay, whereas a monkey's fist, in a monkey's fist, quite often you could put an inner core of something heavy, and when that comes flying towards you, boy, look out, because that can hurt when it hits you. Okay, so let me show you that again, but what I'll do is, let me just untie this, and I'll show you again. And is it as if, by magic, it's now all undone again. Okay, once again, we're just going to tie our heaving line knot into this piece here. So this is my working end, and basically all I do is I pass the working end over my standing end like so, pinch it with my fingers so that I end up with a loop, and then all I do is get the working end and just wrap it around down that loop as we go along. So as you can see, just keep wrapping like so. Keep it up tight because you don't want to end up tightening it later on. Pull it tight round like so until we run out. And here we go. I've now run out of cordage here. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck that through my loop there like so. 
and then with the other end just pull up tight and you can see now by pulling up it's pulling that loop where I put my working end through pulling it up nice and tight and you can see now in there just pull it up a little bit tighter I now have a heaving line as simple as that okay so that is one way of tying the heaving line and the answer is also the other thing is depending on how much rope you've got you can make this bigger if you want so just make your bike bigger to start with and the amount of working end you've got to make it longer should you require so you can choose what you're going to do but you can see here it's very quick and easy way of tying the heaving line knot okay let's now undo this and I will show you right so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you the second method and I think I prefer this second method it's just that little bit more secure when you're actually tying the knot itself and basically I've got my loop formed here here's my working end and all I'm going to do is pass my working end underneath my standing end like so and just keep that loop there like that and that's all I've done I've just passed it underneath and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my working end and I'm going to pass it over my standing end underneath my original working end there like so and just so that it binds it like that and just pull that up a little bit tight and then the next thing I'm going to do is now I start coiling my cord accordingly and so what I'm going to do is just take my cord bring it back underneath and then back over it again like so and then just just use that now to wrap around that loop we've got at that point there okay so just keep wrapping it round keep wrapping there we go keep wrapping keep it tight as well as you're wrapping it and then now we're running out of our working end here so the next thing I'm going to do is just bring the working end up through the middle of our loop that we've got there. So that, let's see, let's hold that like that. And now you can see all I've got to do is just pull on my standing end. I need all my hands, fingers for that. Pull it up on my standing end. And there we go. It's now locked my working end in place. And then I can now just draw up tightly on it. And you can see there, we've now got ourselves a nice, quick and easy, simple little heaving line there. And it's just locked off at that point, a little bit more secure than if we'd have done it just by wrapping it round. So that's my way. Uh, that's my preferred way of doing it. And then you can gently tease it all up just to lock it all into place. That's it. Lock it all into place. And there we go okay and so we have ourselves a nice heavy little knot on the end of our line here so that when we throw it that weight the momentum will allow that rope to travel further when thrown okay so let's undo that and let's just show you again what I did on that and whilst I'm undoing this once again if you enjoyed the video thumbs up if you hated it thumbs down but please tell me why in the comments below Okay, so there we go, I've undone it. Also, the other thing that would be good if you could do that for me is share this video. If you enjoyed this video, please share it. Okay, so here we go. I have now got my length of rope. This is my working end. My standing end is going off in that direction. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to pass the working end underneath my standing end and just draw it through I think that's enough to draw through and then once I've done that I then bring it back over the standing end pass it underneath like so so you can see here it's going round underneath my standing end over my standing end and then underneath my original working end here and then just keep pulling it up until it's fairly tightish okay so now that we've done that that's sort of locking it in place at that end there. All I'm going to do now is take my working end and just wrap it round both sides. So go round like so. But keep your loop together at that point and then just basically just wrap your cord around like so and keep wrapping it until you run out of cordage or 
your working end comes becomes a little short sprat at the end and keep wrapping it round and you can see here now I'm starting to run out so what I'm going to do now is that's about as far as I can go I'm going to open up my loop tuck my working end through like so and then on the other end just gently pull up there like that just to pull that knot tight at that end and then pull just hold the whole knot and just pull and you can see now I'm holding it there the working end with my finger and gradually as I pull it up there we go I have now locked that into place and there we have it we have our heaving line knot and just slightly more secure because it's secure at that end which the other one was but it's also a little bit more secure at this end here with so it won't have a tendency poss possibly to come undone I don't know if one's better than the other it's just that I found two variants of exactly the same knot then it's not exactly the same is it John but you know what I mean but anyway there we have it that is the heaving line knot done okay so once again thanks for watching you know and if you can please share this video so others can watch it as well and comment see you later then bye bye